Hi everyone, my name is Ken Paris. I'm a product manager at Rocky Mountain Bicycles and I'm here to talk about the 2021 Altitude and Instinct. Both bikes saw a redesign this year with all new frames in carbon and alloy, with the Altitude launching in the summer and the Instinct now hitting dealers. Both the Altitude and the Instinct share the same frame and the same technologies, but there's some subtle differences between the two bikes that cater to their respective uses. While the Altitude is a proven EWS race winner and a bit of a trail brawler, the Instinct is more as an all-rounder that caters towards a healthy mix of climbing and descending. The type of rider that's going to opt for an Instinct over an Altitude is someone who enjoys long days in the saddle, enjoys technical climbs, but doesn't shy away from technical descents. The Instinct was designed to be the most versatile bike in our lineup with a good mix of sharp handling characteristics and agility that rewards the rider. Let's go into a little bit of detail on how we made that happen. The geometry of the Instinct differs from the altitude in some subtle but crucial ways. The head tube angle and the seat tube angle are both a little bit steeper. Bottom bracket is lower, the stack height is lower, and the reach is a little bit longer. All of that gives the rider a better position for attacking the climbs while still retaining some stability for the descents. The chainstay lengths on both bikes are the same. Both are adjustable with the two position rear axle. As I mentioned earlier, both the Altitude and the Instinct share the same frame and many of the same frame features. They both have a removable forward shock mount. They both feature the same link with Ride 9 technology. They both have a two position rear axle chip that allows you to choose between short and long chainstay. For protection, we have the Canadian Shield that keeps loam and dirt um, out of your bottom bracket and chainstay area, as well as an integrated one-up chain guide to make sure that your chain is securely in place. Additionally, like the Altitude, the Instinct features full rubberized protection in all crucial areas, including underneath the seat stay, on top of the chain stay, and then along the full length of the down tube. The Instinct's built around 150 millimeter travel fork up front and features a different shock mount and a shorter stroke shock to give you 140 millimeters of travel out back. The kinematics have also been tweaked to add to the trail nature of the bike with a more linear rate in the Instinct that allows the user to use more travel more easily. In general, the Instincts feature lighter weight components that are better suited for trail use, including trail dampers in the fork and shock. The Instincts have four piston brakes, but with a 180 millimeter rotor up front and a faster rolling tire combo of DHF in the front and DHR in the back. So what do those numbers mean? And why would you choose an Instinct over an Altitude? While the Altitude will get you to the top of the hill, it's really aimed at attacking the downhills. The Instinct, on the other hand, is more of an all-rounder and favors a rider that enjoys the climbs as well as the descents. 